three we're at Indy. Uh, so you can see back here, the lanes are getting full. The track is not live yet. Uh, we're here kind of early, which is uh, good. You get to see who made it through, who's getting ready to race, and uh, who's still putting their cars together. So there's a ton of people still working out all their stuff. We're gonna cruise around, see what showed up. Yeah, how was your drive? Um, it was good. It's real rough in it's here, been huh? Really real rough. My rough. Uh, hotel room had hardwood floors, so oh. it didn't have any blood on no it. No bloody like yours. carpet, okay. And uh, no stains that we saw on the sheets, so. <laughs> um, holy shit. <laughs> Drag week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hashtag Drag Week. Drag Week. Because Drag Week. <laughs> Seven twenty one ninety. So, not where he needs to be, but uh, I guess it's a good first hit. Big trip right back around. All right, Glenn Hunter coming up. Twin turbo, big block. Uh, this car's been in the sixes on these uh, radials here, so I guess we'll see what he's going to do here. Hopefully, at least a uh, mid to low seven for him. Alright, we got Dave Schroeder coming up in his brand new C7 Fickle chassis, 872 cubic inch motor. He uh, made a couple rips earlier, not today. Uh, earlier in the week he's been 650 with the car already. They're trying to knock off uh, some of that with a little more track time. This car is going to be real, real fast. He got out of it early at 674 at 175. Alright, so here's Jason Sack with his Nova. He's got a single turbo LS in it. He just won a personal best yesterday. I think it was a 737 or something like that. Uh, he's trying to improve on that some more and get some more laps on this thing. He's not a contender at this regardless of class. Currently, he's about a tenth out. So here is Rick Stanky in the four-door Chevelle versus Daryl Yost in his two-door Chevelle. Uh, Pro Charger versus Turbo. Pro Charger and Nitrous on the left-hand side by the 67 Chevelle, but they're both looking for that same number, 8.500. Thank you, go to the 8th 
849 with 169. Just a hair too fast. He's trying to get an 8500 if he can. So that's a class he's in. So he's going to have to come back around and try to make another pass. All right, there's Lonnie Tibbs in the Mountain Dew Mustang with Nick Taylor. Tuning it up. Trying to get back in the sevens that they got in the, uh, I think the first day they went 770s with it. Off yet again. He got out of the gas a little bit, back in it. It goes 804, 176. Oh, 809. Look at Joe Barry delivering a signature half track burnout. He will be backing it up. This is the car that won in Ultimate Iron. He went 7 0 on the very first day and unfortunately struggled yesterday with some tires. He couldn't get his race tires on there because they had a hole in them or something like that. Had to run on his street tires. He slowed down radically into the 880. Specifically, 884 to 178 miles an hour. Joe was the third quick Tom Fox. They just built trying to lay down another mid seven second pass or better. She had to pedal it a little bit. Got back in, it goes 844, 170. You can see the lot is pretty well cleared out. I'm here a lot later than uh, I expected to be. I was checking in on some racers, kind of lost track of time. So we're going to hit the road, see if we can catch up to some people out there, checkpoints, and uh, get back to the next uh, hotel.